welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for floor beam construction which span is 22 feet from one column to another column guys you can see this is floor beam steel reinforcement from that column to the other column the span is 28 feet if you see guys the width of this beam is with concrete cover 12 inches already placed inside the shuttering and the depth is 18 inches with concrete cover guys you can see the concrete cover is already done which is 25 millimeter guys you can see under the steel reinforcement we have guys three bars at upper portion of this beam and four bars at the bottom two are side bars beam is designed for five story commercial building you can see guys let me show you properly if you see we have two side bars which are provided at the distance of only l by 4 not fully you can see guys and four bars at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter stirrups dia is 10 millimeter with the spacing of 6 inches at the distance of l by 4 guys you can see clearly Two are side bars, three are provided at the top portion and four are provided at the bottom. The stirrup is placed, the first one at the distance of minimum two inches. After that, guys, you can see the spacing of stirrups are five inches, four to five inches, guys, you can see at the distance of L by four means total span, which is 28 feet divided by four at the distance of seven feet we have extra steel rods we have guys you can see three steel rods at top portion and four at the bottom look at here guys you can see clearly the spacing is four to five inches for stirrups at the distance of l by 4 after that the spacing is increased up to 7 to 6 in uh, 6 to 7 inches you can see guys main bars distribution bars you can see which is already placed inside the floor beam to make a good bond it should not be provided on the top of this we can't make or it can't give you the full strength so therefore the steel reinforcement if that is main bars or distribution bars it should be placed inside the floor beam concrete cover is already provided 25 millimeter if you see main bars and distribution bar spacing is 12 by 12 inches this is singly mesh on the top of this they will provide the doubly mesh or the other mesh that is called doubly mesh with the spacing of 6 by 6 inches you can see guys here Hooks are bent on 90 degree, it should be provided on 135 degree. So this is also one of the big mistake you can see guys. On both directions guys, you can see they didn't provide the extra steel rods. Three bars at upper portion, four at the bottom. Two are side bars, but only side bars are provided for a beam which is less than or more than 20 feet guys you can see. On the other side, lapping is already provided in the slab at the distance of L by 4. So this is also one of the big mistake. Don't provide the lapping near its support or at the distance of L by 4. There we have more chances of cracks. To reduce cracks, we are providing extra steel rods, but they provided lapping length. So this is not good, guys, if you are working on construction site. Okay, guys. This is a short video but very important for you people to know about the steel reinforcement for the floor beam or CC slab if that is two story, three story, four story. So you should hire the structure engineer if you are going more than two story. Otherwise you will face more problems because steel structure design is a bone of structure. If you don't know about the steel structure design and you are placing the steel reinforcement by a steel fixer so you will face more problems in the future guys you can see already they did many mistakes in this construction especially an rcc slab especially for lapping length guys you can see at this place 
because they didn't follow the rules regulation and the steel structure design if they have the steel structure design so they will perform a good duty on the construction site thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye